But by getting chickens this time of year, just to the point of lay, we're gonna kind of guarantee ourselves some eggs through the winter. Hold it over there. You right like that? Yeah? So that's actually recorded now. So you wanna say hi? Hi! So me and the youngest are off to buy some point of lay chickens. This is our kind of cheats way of getting some laying hens through the winter. We've been eating a lot more eggs lately. My eldest is a type one diabetic and we've noticed that sugary breakfasts really aren't good for her because she wears a continuous glucose monitor on her arm, which uh, gives us a reading of her uh, sugar levels throughout the day, the blood sugar. Ah, oh, road's closed, isn't it? Let's go the other way. And we've noticed that if she has a sugary breakfast, she has a massive spike and then a slump afterwards. It's like the insulin can't really keep up with it, unfortunately. So what we've done is we've switched to a savory breakfast. She's having one piece of toast with a poached egg or a scrambled egg on it. This, we've noticed, has been amazing for her. I tried it as well, actually. I felt a lot better than having my kind of very sugary porridge. I noticed I wasn't having a slump in the morning or kind of mid-afternoon as well. So we thought, actually, this is quite a good breakfast for me and the kids uh, every morning, cook us some, some eggs and some toast, some homemade bread. But our chickens aren't really up to doing it at the moment. Our Indian game are great chickens, but I find that they don't lay, they very, lay very spreadedly in the spring and kind of midsummer. That's when you get the eggs from them. We have got some hybrid hens. They're ex um, kind of commercial birds. But they're coming to the end of their kind of productive life cycles. So they're kind of in retirement. Probably get six eggs every week off them at the moment. So it's time to go and get some more hens. Now getting point of lay hens in the autumn like this is really good. So if they just come in to lay, what will happen is generally they'll lay all through the winter. And they might not lay at their full production because obviously the day length's quite short. So they haven't got as many daylight hours, but um, it should work really well keep us in eggs so we're gonna go get five hens today and hope that that keeps us in eggs so we're going to a place unfortunately I've been used this place lots of times unfortunately it's closing down so we're gonna go buy some chickens it's probably the last chickens we buy from here I don't buy too many because we tend to breed our own or hatch out but having some hybrids is a really good thing at times it just means it's kind of it just means we've got some dedicated layers in our flock so we're not gonna breed from them but uh, works really well you looking forward to going and get them? Yeah. Boys that have one retained testicle each. Mm. So they... What age are these birds? They are 21 weeks. Oh, okay. So they are... Spot on just slightly low. Yeah. Hi. He's already asked if we can name them. <laughs> Let's tie it up, shall we? Say again. Can I think we're allowed to are we allowed to walk up the walkway yeah. afterwards and have a look. Yeah. Yeah. I'm filming you filming me. Sheep like me more than some other types of sheep. They don't want to be on camera. You like some sheep this size? Yeah, especially the small ones, they'd be so good. So, how was that? Good. And what, how many birds did we get? Five. <laughs> you don't sound sure. Yeah, five birds. And you reckon that'll keep us in eggs? Yeah. Cool. Let's go home and get them into their new home.
try to keep these bags intact. These are off my planer. It's quite a full one, but it should uh, provide a nice deep bed of litter in there. This pen's eye fallow for a little while. So I'm gonna put this on the bottom and then keep them in for a few days before they can free range. Now I'm gonna wash up their water and feed her, make sure everything's nice and ready for them. I'm actually gonna bring another bag of sawdust down, put plenty in there. Give them a nice deep bed in there if they're gonna be in for a few days. Just make it a bit more comfortable for them. And probably a bit more of what they're used to as well. So it kind of keeps it kind of the same. Ah, oh, hello girls. Seem happy enough? even got an egg for their journey over here. Okay, so getting the chickens this time of year means they're only just coming in to lay, which means they're kind of tricked into laying all winter, really. They're desperate to lay their eggs. As long as I give them plenty of food, I've got to train them to use that treadle feeder now. They've got water, nice warm place to sleep, and they can free range in a, probably about a week's time. Once they've learned to use the treadle feeder properly, maybe a little bit longer. But by getting chickens this time of year, just to the point of lay, we're going to kind of guarantee ourselves some eggs through the winter, which is really important for us at the moment. So it seems like a good thing to do. 